third victim has just come forward and police believe there are more. According to investigators, Valdivia lured the women to his tattoo studio under the pretense of modeling opportunities. Authorities say the victims believe they have been communicating on Instagram with a woman. One of the victims was offered a free tattoo in exchange to model the artwork. Police say Eduardo Valdivia communicated with the victims through an Instagram account and private messages. Police accuse him of inviting them to his tattoo studio under false pretenses of modeling opportunities of their tattoo artwork with a business called Exeter Models. The victims told police they signed written contracts, did photo shoots, and had oil massages that ended with Valdivia sexually assaulting them. Valdivia's defense attorney contends the sex was consensual. This is absolutely a consensual interaction. I mean, we're being prosecuted for, for essentially uh, a morality kind of uh, a case. They didn't report the rapes immediately because Valdivia threatened them with legal action if they did not honor their contracts. So we want the community to know that no matter if you sign a contract, that does not allow for you to be sexually assaulted. Citing those modeling contracts, a judge denied bail Tuesday for Valdivia. The judge noted in his comments when he held them without bond that he felt that those contracts that were signed by the victims may have been part of the coercion. Authorities say Valdivia also used the names Lalo Brown and Al Boogie. He leased space for a business called DC Fine Line Tattoos back in February. It was located on the second floor of a Gaithersburg office building. It was near a hotel where police say one of the victims told them she was raped again under Valdivia's claim, she had to honor her modeling contract. Well, he's the one that actually gave the tattoo, but these uh, incidents occurred in the late hours of the day as well as on the weekend. To our knowledge, our victims did not know of his employment status as an FBI agent, nor either knew his true real identity. Eduardo Valdivia is suspended from his duties as an FBI agent. He remains in jail on numerous charges that include two counts of second degree rape. The prosecution says if convicted on all the charges, jail time exceeds 50 years. Detectives are urging anyone with information or who may have been victimized by him to contact the Montgomery County Special Victims Investigations Division. That number is 240-773-5400. Reporting live from the newsroom, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.